No, we don't need the stethoscope. Hey guys, how are you? So, one of the most important things when you have a newborn puppy like this, okay? And this is our, one of our little girls, okay? We call her No-Tail because she has no tail, which is very sought after trait, okay? So she's a lilac blue right here. We're gonna wait for the colors to come back, the exact DNA colors on her. She got a little white mark on her chest right there. All right, little pretty girl. Is you need one of these little aspirators right here. Now, we also have a big machine for that as well in serious emergencies. But you put it up against their little nose tips. Yeah, I know. And it takes any milk or anything that's, that's coming out of them. Then you need to go like this and touch their bottom so you can make them pee. I just did. She peed over there. And then the next thing that you have to do is you take a little thing of water, nice warm water, and then you hold on to the puppy. All right. And then you go ahead and you tap their butt. Okay, so you tap their butt, tap their butt like this because you want to make them poopy now also, okay? French bulldog puppies, when they're born, they cannot poop on their own and they cannot pee on their own. And this is a big thing and you do not want the doggy to get bound up. So it just takes a little bit of patience and you have to do this three, four times a day, you know? And here we go. Now she's starting to poop, all right? Little by little. So we just go ahead and do that. And I get a little bit of warm water right here. I just put it right on her butt. Make it nice and warm. And then we go ahead and we just keep tapping and we make a poop. What I do is I push on her bottom legs right here, back legs. And it makes her push. See, now she's pushing the poopy out. I know it's gross. But this is how you do it. If you got a new French Bulldog puppy or you're thinking about breeding, you have to do this. Three, four times a day after every feeding. You have to do it. And I help them to get their legs stronger while I'm doing it. I know I hear you, baby. And keep going. There's usually two rounds of poop to come out. Here it is. Here's the second round of poop coming out right now. I push her legs like I make her do squats. Because the muscles from her legs force her to push the poopy out. And so now we're on the second round right here. This is really important. Then, you go to another paper towel, get, dip it in a little warm water, and put her down right here for a second, get her back legs on it. There we go, let's go just like that. And then I'm gonna clean her little bottom up. Once I get her bottom all nice and clean, try not to wipe, you just blot. You don't wanna give them any rash or anything like that, or abrasions. Once it's nice and adequately cleaned, then, what I do is I take a little bit of coconut oil and hold on, I'll show you what that is right here because I gotta, I need my, my nurse to open it up for me. Here we go. There we go. I take a little bit of coconut oil in a thing. I dip my finger in it and I just put a little blot on her butt. That's all. That's all. So this way if she poops, because they, they are pooping a little bit, you know, from uh, the mama's supposed to lick them and make them poop. And she does lick them, but she doesn't clean them good enough and doesn't make them poop good enough. When you do that, so nothing really dries on there, it doesn't stick to their coat. That's our secret weapon right here. A lot of people do a lot of different things. I'm going to tell you something. You can't go wrong with coconut oil. Not at all. And she's, oh, oh, bottom's clean. Then the next thing I do is I take her over to here and I weigh her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that on. And then I take her, I put her gently onto this right here, little puppy right there, and she is 17.5. Now, these puppies, you don't want them to run off. I could also measure, because if you look at this piece right here, I can measure at the same time, but I'm not doing that right now. I measured them when they were first born. Now, what's important about that is that French Bulldog puppies should gain 1% to 3% of their body weight each day. All right, and it should almost double or it should double within the first week, and that's extremely important. She is right on target. We are how many days in? We are this five. is day five, right? Now we're going into day six. Going into day she six. was born exactly six days ago, just about now. It's yeah. about that time of night. I'll see you guys on the next one.